This is Andrew Stocks. Today is Wednesday, October 6, 2010, and today we're going to take a look at cannabis science. This is a NASDAQ bulletin board stock trading in a ticker CBIS. I scaled this into a six-month chart because it was difficult to see values as a nine-month chart or a one-year chart. So I brought it in a little bit closer so we could see what was going on right down here. It's been in a long-term downtrend. Right now it appears like it's trying to iron out a bottom, make a big rounded bottom, which is something that we look for. So when we go and we take a look at the indicators, you can see overall a large uptrend in the MACD heading towards zero. You look for that break of the money line. Many times on that break of zero, you'll get a nice price per share pop. Same thing going on with the PPO. Nice trend back towards zero. Not getting a great deal from the ADX. Hasn't reached above 30, which is putting it into a truly strong trend. Up here on 25, now it's kind of flatlining. Negative DI coming down, positive DI already down low. Just giving hints that perhaps this whole trend just doesn't have much strength left to it. So we're going to look for an overall reversal of things. You want to see this positive DI come up. You'll want to see this ADX start to make a move toward more towards 30 to give it some strength. MFI, a bit of a concern. The 7 has such a separation from the 14 and 21. It's not too dramatic, but it is a pretty good separation. So we'll look for some kind of pullback on this in the future. What is nice is the 14 and 21, getting a pretty nice uptrend to it, now trying to break through 50. That's what you want to see. That's bull chart territory. As you can see throughout the course of this six months, very little time above 50. So even if this 7 pulls back, we're going to look for some meeting of them right around this 65, 70 area, and then perhaps a move to follow. Pretty solid downtrend that the accumulation distribution was in. Now it's bouncing off a low point. And trying to break through that trend line and move its way to the north side. This is reiterated through the shake and money flow, which tells you that selling pressure was obviously dominant, but it's been leveling itself out a little bit. Even a, a brief pop up into the green here above zero, which tells you that buying pressure was overcoming selling pressure at that point. So even if this dips back down, we want to see it maintain this trend line and continue to show that buying and selling pressure are equaling themselves out. CCI, not really at a buy point. We always talk about it by definition. It's a break of 100. Trading over zero just tells you that right now it's starting to trade to the north side of its average mean. Quick spike in the in the full stow here several weeks ago. Must have been some good buying pressure that day. What you want to see out of the full stow is this thing hold over 50 at the minimum. Over 80 can be considered overbought territory, but it can trade down in oversold or overbought area for a long time. What you want to see is this continue some sort of uptrend, which had a pretty nice uptrend coming through this area. You want to see it holding over 50. That Again, that's bull chart territory, so even if this wants to dip back down, you want to see it hold 50 and keep some strength to this chart on an overall direction of momentum. The tricks, most importantly with the tricks, is the trend back towards zero. That's what it has going on right now, down low at negative 2, getting more moderate range right now, down around negative 0.75. The uptrend in this trix is what's important again. RSIs are in a pretty nice position, not too far apart. I'll have a nice little roll to the upside going on. Bull chart territories get above 50. That's what we want to see this 14 and 21 do. It's important that the seven's up there, but even more important that the 14 and 21 get their way over. Again, throughout the whole six months, very little time, difficult area for it to achieve getting above. When it did, it got little price per share movements. So we're going to look for that 14 and 21 to get through 50 as well. What we're going to look for in the candles, there's a very bottom down here right around 0.041. But we're not really going to try and look at that at this point. We're going to look for this area to hold first and foremost. That's right around 046. That was the low of the day yesterday. We're going to want to see that hold. You can see it was a pretty good area of support throughout these, this whole last month or so. That needs to hold. If it doesn't, there's a very good possibility it's going to test this 041 again. But that, at this point, is a little bit too far away for a stop loss. You don't want to set stop losses that are more than 20% away from where it is now. So 046 really needs to hold. And on the upside, this has to take out a nickel. 
good area of support, strong area of resistance now. This is going to take probably a little bit of volume. See, volume actually dried up a little bit yesterday, 275,000 shares traded. We're going to want to see this volume get back up to these average levels, a million shares. If it's going to blow through it, it might even take a million and a half shares, some serious buying pressure. This price per share resistance is going to be coupled with this 50-day rolling in through here now, which is at 0.53. And if it can move above that, again, that's where charts start to take a more bullish look. This chart's definitely on radar because of the positive divergence, because the Bollinger Bands are relatively tight, and because all these moving averages are coming together. Moving averages, when they all get tucked together, chances are a bigger move comes. And that can be a bigger move to the downside or a bigger move to the upside. You're trying to use things like positive divergence to give you some kind of hint that perhaps that move is going to be to the upside. If it can hold this support and get some volume and break through this resistance, it's going to see more resistance again right through this area. A little bit, a little bit through here, but six cents, another 20% move that is to get back up here and challenge six cents. Long term, which I typically don't like to put targets on it, but I will identify the next real resistance level is going to be up around eight cents. You know, that's just a huge move from here, 70% or so, to get up to that level again. This starts with baby steps, starts with holding this support, breaking this resistance, getting above the 50-day moving average, establishing this as a true bottom, and making its way to the north side, and then see how it reacts when it gets to $0.06. Cents if it can make a new higher high and take out a pretty good source of resistance there. These are the type of things that I'll be looking for with Cannabis Science and the CBIS chart. As always, this is merely my interpretation. This is Andy with Quality Stocks. Thank you for watching and trade smart.